real fast before we go any further i did a painting yesterday let me know what do you guys think about it down in the comment section i would greatly appreciate it and this is also one of my hobbies as well thank you so what do you guys like time micro hot wheels or tamika big question in the community and here where it gets real what are the details and what does the company offer to be fair and realistic do licenses matter Welcome back to my channel. This is Dev coming to you with RC over Dose X Diecast Domination. God bless you all, and I hope you are having an amazing, beautiful day. Each brand brings its own flair and reputation to the table, making it a tough decision for collectors and fans alike. Starting with Tamika, a brand synonymous with quality and precision. Tamika cars are known for their lifelike details, accurate scaling, and a vast array of car models that cater to a wide audience. Whether you're into classic cars or modern speed demons, Tamika has something for everyone, making it a favorite among diecast enthusiasts. Moving on to Time Micro, the coin-sized sibling of Hot Wheels that packs a punch with its incredible detail in a small size, these micro marvels are perfect for collectors looking to set up intricate displays or build expensive car collections without taking up much space. Despite their small size, Time Micro cars don't compromise on quality, making them a very popular choice for those who appreciate the finer details in miniature form. Now, the gigantic Hot Wheels, a household name in the diecast car world, known for its diverse range in cars, imaginative designs, and iconic track sets. Hot Wheels cars are revered for their innovative features, bold colors, and special editions that cater to both collectors and kids alike. With a very loyal fan base and a history of producing some of the most sought after collectibles, Hot Wheels continues to be a dominant force in the 164 scale market. Now, together, we should appreciate all these creativity that these diecast models bring to our lives. Also, stay tuned as we dive deeper into the specifics and nuances of each brand in this exciting comparison. When we move on to the very first one that I want to show is a Time Micro one. When you look at the side skirts, yes, they do have all the logos, Sparkos, Toyo Tires, Goretti, and also we have Racing Heart logo as well. Now, when it comes to the paint, very meticulously crafted and also finely printed as well with the graphics and the precision coloring as well. Moving on to the front with the Supra from Time Micro, we have lights that are very realistic the only back foot is the hood. Now the hood looks a little bit different, not as precise as it used to be in the movie. When we look at the one from Tamika, they have put in the precise hood that has been replicated straight from the movie and also the front bumper as well. But both of these cars provide amazing joy to us diecast collectors. Let's have a look at the Tamika version. The Tamika one does not come with the side mirrors, which is totally fine, but they do come with a roof that is detachable. And also they have provided intricate details in the rear of the car and also the overall graphics, paint, and the shock suspensions as well. Have a look guys. Tamika also has provided a car with a gray spoiler, just as shown in the movie, but we have this edition for now. Now, brace yourself, if you guys believe me or not, but this is actually one of the most expensive Toyota Supras from Fast and Furious in my collection, just because it is Hot Wheels. Very popular brand amongst the collectors, and once this flies off the shelf, there is no way that you're gonna be getting this at a proper price. <laughs> when you compare the overall front, right over here we have Time Micro, Hot Wheels, and Tamika. I think Tamika has the best front when it comes to precision and accurate hood and also just as shown in the film as well. When it comes to Hot Wheels, we all know that Hot Wheels are made for children and as well as adults as well. But some of the details that they've put in, they've also made sure to be child safe as well. So that's why you don't see any other parts in Hot Wheels. Time Micro, they actually have a hood of the Supra from the A80, which is totally fine. The amount of details that they've still added makes it a great combination for this diecast model. Onto the side prints, here we see the Fast and Furious from Time Micro. It does look very neat and also precise, but when you have a look at the Tamika one, they have also done an incredible job in the paint, all the lines and the replicated green flash in the back. When you look at the one from Hot Wheels, 
I don't want to hate on any diecast models whatsoever, but it being such a reputable brand, the paint actually looks a little bit, you know, off. And not just that, guys, have a look at the graphics. They're not the most precise graphics that you've ever seen on a diecast model. So that's not the best to me. When it comes to details from the top, Tamika absolutely takes a trophy because have a look at that yourself, guys, and tell me that it doesn't look incredible. Very nicely detailed seats. In the rear, we have those audio systems, amplifiers, and we also have some, you know, some inner details right in the middle as well. The Time Micro model also looks very nice and neat from the top. However, it does not replicate the authentic Supra that has been shown in the movie but Time Micro is still my very best. They have still tried to replicate the roof. You can clearly see the line, but they cannot add that part just because they have to be child safe. And that's why they have done their best to replicate the attention to detail from the car. Moving on to the wheels, guys, I think Time Micro and the Tomica model takes the trophy because Tomica has accurate rims as well. And Time Micro, the disc brakes are visible. The rims are a little bit bigger, now let's compare the rear, starting off with Tamika. When you have a look at the body, the lips of the bumper, and also the intricate details in the lights, it absolutely tells you that Tamika has put in an incredible work in their model. This is one of my favorites from the rear, not just that they have provided details in the lights, they also have provided a custom plate which says Supra with the Toyota logo, the Toyota logos in the left and right of the lights, and also the amazing looking spoiler that has been attached in the rear. We have the Hot Wheels. Now the Hot Wheels rear is not the very, very best, but however, they still have provided intricate details in the Toyota logos, the Supra logos, and guys, don't forget the authentic license plate straight from the movie, Mr. Arizona. Time Micro has also done an incredible job in replicating the Skyline R34 from the movie Too Fast, Too Furious. Now, here's a good part. Can you guys see the split spoiler, which is amazing, amazingly detailed for a miniature replica, and also the bottom, you can clearly see that the exhaust pipes go straight into the hood and the tire tread marks are replicable to the real car. Tamika has also provided an amazing looking replica. Now, the doors open and close. The tires, they have suspensions in them. So it gives you a little bit of wiggle and playroom if you are willing to play with the car. And also guys, the details, this blue spoiler, the intricate graphics, the additional details on the rims. I do love the fact that Tamika has made this excellent model for us collectors. We also have the Fast and Furious Hot Wheels. And this one has been completely replicated from the movie. Also has the incredible license plate that says 2F2F03 in which the movie came out in 2003. They also have the real riders, rubber tires, so your car can freely roll. And it is a very heavy piece, a very heavy die cast model. Even though they don't have plastic lights or any other details, it's just simply the paint. They have done an incredible job in making sure that the front lights have replicable details to a 1-1 scale replica. All these cars bring amazing joy to me and to compete them in front of you amazing people, it's just an amazing moment for me to live in. So I hope you enjoyed the content. If you have any questions for me, please drop them down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. God bless you all. Stay fresh. Until next time. Peace.